We have breaking news from the NHL, and we have a huge NHL trade to discuss. The New York Islanders and Lou Lamarillo have made a huge acquisition from the New Jersey Devils. We'll jump into the details coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. Now, as I mentioned, we have some huge breaking news here from the NHL. The first huge trade leading into the NHL trade deadline coming up here on Monday, April 12th. Lou Lamarillo and the Islanders are not wasting any time. They're getting out in front of this, and they've got the guys they've been looking for. They've made a huge trade here with Lou's former team, the New Jersey Devils, and they've acquired forwards Kyle Palmieri and longtime veteran NHL center Travis Sajak. Now, both these guys had a form of a no-trade clause. I believe Sajak had a full no-trade, whereas uh, Palmieri was a partial. Uh, so there may have had uh, Palmieri wave. I'm not sure. I assume that Islanders are probably okay for him. And, of course, Sajak had to wave. But, it's you know, it's close by. They're not going very far geographically. So from a family perspective, it would be all right. And, of course, uh, especially Sajak, very familiar with Lou after all those years in the Devils organization. Now, the Devils have retained 50% of salary on both players. So the Islanders get both of these guys for just a smidge over $5 million on the cap hit. That's a phenomenal deal for what you're going to get. Of course, Anders Lee is done for the year. He's not coming back. They lost him. So they add Kyle Palmieri, who can give you the goals. Uh, they can give you, uh, Zajac can give you the solid two-way play, veteran guy, some more leadership in the room. Uh, not that they really needed it, because they do have a lot of other great capable leaders on that team as well. But this is a phenomenal trade for the Islanders. They're already one of the top teams in the NHL, extremely sound defensively, great goaltending, um, and now they've gone ahead here and taken advantage of the LTIR space created by their captain going down to injury. Now, there is a pretty decent return going to the Devils. It's mostly all futures here, of course. They do get a 2021 first-round pick of the Islanders, so that's the big piece of this. There's also a conditional fourth-round pick in 2022, and they also get a couple of minor league prospects in A.J. Greer and Mason Jopes. Now, at this point, I'm not really sure either of those guys are going to turn out to be NHL players. Players, but you're only allowed to carry so many professional contracts. Uh, at the very least, it's a couple of bodies going out to make some room here. Uh, the picks are the main pieces here that obviously are important for New Jersey to get. So obviously, Zajac's contract, you know, wasn't the most favorable, but and he obviously had a lot of control given the fact that he had no trade. So uh, you know, his only limited amount of teams he would go to. So they move on to pending UFAs. They get a first-round pick, a conditional fourth, a couple of guys to play in their minor league team to see if they have any futures there. Uh, and the Islanders get a phenomenal trade. This is huge for the New York Islanders. I already thought of them as a potential Stanley Cup favorite. Now this just really ups the ante. Obviously, it's fair to say we can see that the Islanders were not meeting on Taylor Hall. It was between Hall and Paul Mary were the teams that were being uh, rumored to have been discussed here uh, for the Islanders. Uh, there was some talk that uh, a guy like Kulikov could be included with Paul Mary in a trade for the a team like the Isles, for example, seeking a, uh, a forward and a defenseman. I know the Bruins were in on that kind of conversation as well from what we were hearing. So a deal like this will certainly impact Boston, who had a lot of interest in Paul Mary. Uh, so they were the, the main ones, I believe, having discussions around a, a Paul Mary Kulikov type of trade so certainly they get ahead of their competitors here be interested to see what other teams are out there uh, for guys like Hall for example I know the Panthers are a team to be rumored out there the Avalanche are a team the Bruins uh, so we'll see where things go from here but this is the first major domino to fall towards the NHL trade deadline. So give me your thoughts on the trade down below and we'll discuss further. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for all your latest updates here on the NHL trade deadline 2021 and everyday coverage of the entire league around the NHL. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.